Glory be to Jesus. This is Bishop James Antinsaki of the Christ Church International. I'm greatly honored to come your way again this morning with God's word of hope for your day today. This morning I want to pray with you and encourage you from Isaiah 43 and the verse number 2. In fact, the verse number 1, first of all, God introduced himself and he says, This is what the Lord, your creator, says. The one who formed you. I just want you to know you have a creator. And you have one who formed you. Now people may despise you and call you names. People that you love begin to call you names or despise you or abuse you. I just want you to know they did not create you. So you don't die for them. You don't cry for them. You don't get depressed for them. You don't get confused because of what they said. Because you have a creator. They don't have capacity to create you. They are only privileged to have met you along the course of life. The Bible says, your creator says... In verse number two, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. This morning, I don't know what you woke up to and what has caused you sleepless nights and what you were hoping to see the day or you are actually in a state of doubt as to what the day holds. But your creator has spoken. I came to assure you, go out confidently today because you have a creator. He planned you before you were born. He had a budget for your life. He's not a politician who can promise and change their mind. He says, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. In other words, sometimes deep waters does not mean God is absent. He will be with you to go through them so he can toughen your muscles for the next level of victory and breakthrough. Nobody gets promoted and given a certificate until we have written an exam and passed it. And the Bible says there will be deep waters in life, challenges, financial deep waters, marital deep waters, child rearing deep waters, academic deep waters, employment deep waters, financial deep waters, health deep waters. He says, when you go through, I will be with you. This morning, I came to announce to you, God had given a consistent promise to our scripture. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And when you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. This morning, I pray for you. Whatever difficulty you are, not, you are going through, it will not drown you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be depressed. You will not have a nervous breakdown in the name of Jesus Christ. He says when you go through rivers of difficulty, it means that sometimes in life there will be difficulty that are just, just ordinary. They are not trickles of water. They are not droplets of water, but they are rivers of difficulty. When we face them, may God give you strength to understand. He says you will not drown. Whoever is listening to me this morning and your condition and your situation looks like you are going through rivers of difficulty. May God give you strength to wade through the rivers. By the help of God, he says, I will be with you. And when you go through the fires of oppression, you will not be burned up. I pray for you this morning that whatever is going on in your life, every fire of oppression, whether in your home, among your children, in your own, among your siblings, in your workplace, among you and your bosses or your contemporaries, or whoever is working behind the scenes to frustrate you in the ministry, he says, when you go through the fires of oppression, you will not be burned up. I pray in Jesus name that the fires of oppression will not burn you up. And he says the flames will not consume you. In Jesus name may God shield you today. May God preserve you today. Sometimes the things you are dealing with, they are like going through rivers of difficulty. They are like going through deep waters. They are like going through fires of oppression. And they are like going through some things that are about to just cause you to drown. May God keep you afloat. May the help of God be your help. And he says, I will be with you. That means that if he's going to be with you, remember, no fire, no river, no waters, can drown God. And if he's going to be with you, then he's going to make a way where there seems to be no way. Whoever set the fires, you will come through and they will be consumed in the name of the Lord Jesus. May God hand rests strongly upon you. May God lift you from every state of oppression in the name of Jesus. May God be merciful to you. May God bring you this assurance this morning as you hear the sound of my voice that you have a creator. Get up from that bed and 
you know, just encourage yourself. I have a creator. I will go out today. Whoever has mocked you, God is your creator. He will make a way for you. In the name of Jesus, whatever has delayed in your life, your creator will make a way for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today that God bring you that child. God bring you that pregnancy that you need in the marriage. God bring you that breakthrough you need in the relationship. God bring you that breakthrough financially. God bring you that elevation in the workplace. God give you that breakthrough to raise your children in the field of God that none of them will die before their time. I pray in the name of Jesus, God surround you and bless you all round. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. May the Lord honor you and bless you. And until I come your way again tomorrow, I'm Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You have a creator. Go out and prosper. Have a blessed, fruitful, and victorious day. Bye-bye.